It's not a planet. So when you say, what's the difference between a place? And Krishna says in Gita, I don't know where, 14th chapter or something, five factors of action. The karta, the cheshta, the karta, the, the was it, indriya. Indriya, indriya, karta, cheshta, daiva, and, and shetra. These are the five factors of it. Daiva means the devatas. Karanam guna sangha sad saras. No, it's a saras sadhyami jamas. Karanam guna sangha. No, it's chantar eva. Chantar eva. Chantar eva. Teho bhapati pati ye. There's one verse that says it. One takes his birth by the arrangement of the uh, devatas and paramatma. Paramatma has the software of the Prabhupada Karma and the Devatas give the different types of places and bodies and different bhagyas and things that go with your karma. Dehantra, what is that? No, oh yeah, Karmana Devanet Karmana Devanet Taina Jantar Deho Bhapatiye. So you're asking about what's the difference between place and what? Realm. We say spiritual realm, spiritual sky, or some place. What's the difference? So we are explaining that often, often the word loka is improperly translated, so people misunderstand when they hear the phrase goloka brindavan. I want to go to Goloka, the planet, the planet of the cows, or Krishna's planet. I want to. Even there's websites called Planet Krishna, and uh, so everyone, pretty much everyone, has the misconception that Krishna's spirit, the spiritual realm, the spiritual, is is a planet like sun, like moon, sun and moon and earth. These are planets with a fixed, they have a diameter. They have a, you can go around, you can walk around the earth. It has a north pole, you can measure it. But the Atma and the spiritual Dham are Sarvagata. If Gita, you know Gita. Gita is saying the Atma is Sarvagata. He's everywhere all pervading. Atmas are in the water, in the air, in the atom. In the atom there's Atma. Atma Paramatma. In the bacteria, there's Atma Paramatma. In the germ, bacteria. So everywhere there's Bhagavan, Sarvakata, and everywhere Atma. So everywhere there is the Dham. There is his spiritual realm. You say, where is Goloka? Oh, Uprawala. God is the Uprawala. God is also the Nichewala. He's also the Bitarwala and the Dinawala and the Bayawala. <laughs> he's he's the left left side God and the right side God. Not only the Uprawala. Everywhere is Krishna. So that's the biggest problem that when they take these words loka, loka means a realm, a realm, a state of consciousness. It's consciousness. So where is consciousness? The scientists have just the that's the missing link. How do they, the scientists cannot discover with all their microscopes and telescopes and all their instruments of measurement and perception, no matter how sophisticated they appear and when they are, to see into the bone marrow and this and that. They can't see into consciousness. They can't see consciousness. But it exists. And consciousness is God, Satchitanand, Brahman. And we are a particle of consciousness, the jivatma, Satchitananda. So this is the problem. Goloka Dham is a plane of consciousness, and when and in that plane, and not even plane, because plane sounds like a region. So when we say plane, it's not a plane either. It's just a, a realm, like Prabhupada said, sky, akash. Can you measure Akash? Akash is everywhere. Akash is inside the water pot and outside in the heavens. Everywhere there's Akash. 